All righty, Major League Baseball will be announcing its all-star game starters in about a, about a half hour or so. And there's a chance uh, starting shortstop could be coming from the south side and the catcher from the north side. The NHL draft is over and the Hawks second round pick from 2002 is calling it quits. What a career this guy had, huh? We'll have more on that in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us. Baseball All-Star voting ended this afternoon. Major League Baseball will announce the starters uh, around 6 o'clock. Uh, Wilson Contreras has a shot at starting for the National League at catcher and Tim Anderson at short for the American League. The Cubs are in L.A. tonight while the Sox host the Tigers again. Detroit got them last night in the opener, beating Dylan Cease for the first time in his career. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's just baseball, and, uh, you know, we, we definitely haven't performed to our peak, but... Um, you know, there's still a lot of season left. we got a lot of talent, so we just got to, you know, bring it and, and put it together. All right, the NHL draft is over. The Blackhawks ended up making eight more picks today. They took five centers, a winger, and two forwards. All of that following those blockbuster moves yesterday, trading Alex Dabrinkit and Kirby Doc for young assets. It's, exa it's exactly the uh, plan that new GM Kyle Davidson had in mind. Uh, the rebuild, yeah, it's officially underway now. It was, a, it was a, a pretty monumental day and huge land shift for the Blackhawks organization, but it's almost the unofficial start of where, where we're headed in, in, in our ascension. Yeah. All right, and one of the cornerstones for those Blackhawks Stanley Cups in 2010, 13, and 15, calling it quits. Duncan Keith retiring after 17 seasons. Keith is 38. He won two Norris trophies and the 2015 Conn Smythe. He played more than 1,100 games in a Hawks sweater. Well, this is All-Star Weekend for the WNBA. The game is Sunday at Wintrust Arena. The festivities begin later tonight. We'll have a live report coming up for you at 6. And the Bulls opened their summer league games out in Las Vegas. Most eyes on their number one pick, Dalen Terry. Second half, Terry gets out free, and he will get an easy bucket. He finished with nine points, six assists. The Bulls beat Dallas, uh, their rookies, in overtime 100 to 99. So the guys are off to a good start, and we'll have the All Star uh, voting coming up for you at 6 o'clock. Uh, guys, we'll send it back to you. Keep that energy up. Love it. Right. Major League Baseball announcing its starters for the All Star game. We'll let you know, Mary, and if anyone from the Cubs or Sox, if they're part of the Midsummer Classic, and the All Stars from the WNBA in town for the big All Star game at Wintrust Arena. We'll have a live report as festivities are getting underway. Coming up next, stay with us. Well, this year, the Midsummer Classic will be played out in Los Angeles, and both sides of town will be represented. And a guy that may not be around for the second half of the season will be the National League starting catcher. Wilson Contreras will be going to his third All-Star game. He has been having a pretty good year on the north side for the Cubs, but word is that teams will become looking uh, for him when it comes time to the trading deadline. But right now, he's a Cub, and he's an all-star. And for the American League, how about Tim Anderson? He'll be the starting shortstop for the American League. This will be Anderson's second all-star game. He's batting 313 with five home runs. Uh, by the way, the Sox host the Tigers tonight, while the Cubs are in L.A. against the Dodgers. The NHL draft ended today. The Blackhawks added eight more draft picks, and their second-round pick from 2002 is calling it quits. Yeah, age 38, Duncan Keith says he's had enough. Three Stanley Cups, one Conn Smythe, quite a career for Keith. And who knows, maybe the Hawks drafted the next Duncan Keith. They hope so for, at least after trading Alex Dabrinkit. He was asked, or we asked, I should say, Hawks analyst Eddie Olchuk what he thought about that move. The first thing that I thought of was uh, when when they, when Alex Debrinke got traded, uh, what was what was Kaner's reaction? Because at the end of the year, Kaner talked about you know he talked about his future and the relationship he has with the cat. And my first initial instinct was is I wonder what the heck Kaner's thinking about right now with Alex Debrinke going on to Ottawa. All right, it's All-Star Weekend for the WNBA, and the game will be played for the first time at Wintrust Arena. That'll be Sunday. All kinds of events tonight and tomorrow leading up to the game. Mike Berman is live at one of them, walking the orange carpet, Mike, with the players. 
Yeah, right. They're not letting me walk the orange <laughs> carpet, but the All-Stars are going to be walking the orange carpet. We're waiting for the majority of them to come through uh, as this fun kickoff to the very first WNBA All-Star Weekend here in Chicago. We did visit with Brianna Stewart, former MVP. She's one of this year's team captains, and she said it is really exciting to be in Chicago, a hoops mecca for the All-Star game. I mean, yeah, but I got some hometown people for, for my team as well. I got some Sky people, but uh, it, it'll be a great game. I think it's, you know, it's exciting to, to be here, obviously, in the, the home of the defending champs and, and just really have the great support from, from all the fans. Very fun weekend ahead, and it all starts tonight here at RPM Seafood. We'll have more at 10, but for now, live at RPM Seafood, Mike Berman, NBC5 Sports. All right, Mike, thanks. By the way, four players from the sky will be playing in that game on Sunday. Uh, send right. it back to you guys. Well represented. Thank Very you. well represented. Absolutely. Good to have them here as well. Let's get the latest in sports now from Jeff Blanzi. All right, Steph, and hey, the best from the WNBA have poured into Chicago. It's All-Star Weekend, and we'll show you how some of the festivities kicked off tonight. And both sides of town will have starters in this year's Midsummer Classic. One at short the other behind the plate. We'll tell you who's going to Los Angeles later this month. Coming up next, stay with us. Well, the Cubs and Sox will both have starters in this year's All-Star Game in Los Angeles. Wilson Contreras will start a catcher for the National League, and uh, that'll be his third career All-Star game. And for the second time, Tim Anderson gets the call at shortstop for the American League. A game being played July 19th. Anderson and his teammates trying to get back on track with the Tigers in town. And Luis Robert let out a big roar in the first. He clobbered this one, about 450, coming with a man on and giving the Sox a quick 2-0 lead. In the seventh, Detroit comes back, scores four times. Javi Baez rips one down the line with the bases loaded. That would score a pair. Tigers had built a 6-2 lead. And if you want to know how bad things are right now for the Sox, this play says it all. Robert in center. <laughs> this is hard to believe. Sox lose their fourth in five games, 7-5 to five the final. Now Contreras not in the lineup tonight. The late start on the West Coast against the first place Dodgers. Keegan Thompson getting the call from Rossi. He gets Cody Bellinger swinging and then escapes the bases loaded jam with a deep fly to right center. Still a lot of baseball to be played right now. It's one nothing Cubs on a Nico Horner home run. Well stars from the WNBA shining here in Chicago this weekend. They have a full weekend of events leading up to the game on Sunday. Our Mike Berman stepped on the orange carpet as players began to arrive for the festivities. WNBA All-Star Weekend off and running, or maybe better put, off and walking. The All-Stars walked the orange carpet right behind me here at RPM Seafood to get the weekend started. And the four Sky players who are All-Stars took center stage. No, that was something that, that was the reason why we stayed here as long as we did, is that we knew we were building something special. Um, it was really important to us, for us to get a championship for Chicago. Good things are happening because we put in the right work. We have the right people here, um, and that's what we're most excited about. Chicago is a basketball city um, filled with dynasties, and that's something we're trying to hope, hoping to build here with the Sky. And just to have you know all the All-Stars come here and just see what it's all about, it's um, definitely prideful. The orange carpet gets the weekend started then on Saturday the skills competition and three-point contest at McCormick Place and finally the all-star game on Sunday at Wintrust Arena. Mike Berman NBC5 Sports. All right thanks Mike. Bulls opening summer league games out in Las Vegas taking on the rookies of the Dallas Mavericks. All eyes on Bulls number one pick in the draft. Dalen Terry gets out in front of the rest and uh, he would finish it nine points. The Bulls were led in scoring by Second year man Marco Simonovic, she racked up a, uh, how about 27 points and 13 rebounds. The Bulls begin with an overtime win, 100 to 99. Finally, this from the American Century Celebrity Tournament at Lake Tahoe. Steph Curry of the world champion Warriors from the fairway. He likes it. And can you believe this? I mean, no. you've got to be kidding. What? And love his reaction. <laughs> he holds it for eagle. How about that? Does it on the court. 
Just does it on the golf course as well. Steph Curry's fun to watch and very exciting. What can't he do? <laughs> I don't know.